If I might, we're going to move to uh, concluding arguments at this point. We have seven minutes left. Um, I think it's been instructive. It's been all over the place. So thank yeah. you for bearing with us. I think there are a lot of issues here. Um, if we might spend the last um, five minutes with kind of closing arguments, um, and, and also, you know, keep in mind the idea of collaboration and integration. See if we can't weave that in and, into our, our final discussion. Pete, would you like to lead us off? Uh, I will try. Um, the, and I would agree with you, Mr. Chairman, the uh, conversation has been very, very rich. I <laughs> think the appropriate term. Uh, collaboration, um, coordination, single sources of truth, process, process, workflows. The, these are things you're dealing with day in, day out. My argument may not be a very strong closing argument, but my argument is that GIS, geospatially aware information, information that has location, geography, doesn't matter whether it's within the human body as a part of the genome project or dealing with Hawaii, uh, is a feeder, a source of information to this thing called BIM. My challenge is, my argument, or part of the argument, is that we're getting too bogged down with acronyms. We still, I love that, uh, George, I think it was you came out with the, the verb now situation, building as a now, but, or now or not, a, not a verb. No, it's, no, it's the other way around. Oh, not as a now. Thank you. It's five days in Vegas, it just does that to you. Um, and my, I would suggest strongly that, that we do have organizations such as this gentleman with his TIM-based solution where you, they're using this wealth of different uh, types of data, including GIS, to help with that workflow, that process, that life cycle of the project. Not a bad argument, not a good argument. I'm sorry, I've just, I see this day in, day out. I get so passionate about it. I see people like you in the audience and I, I love just sitting there, just lying on the touch paper and just stepping back and watching it all sort of explode or implode in a real constructive way. And that's happened today. I'm really pumped. Thank you. So Pete basically said uh, GIS is about uh, spatial information. Right? Well, partly, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and, and uh, I'm suggesting that BIM includes everything that he said. And because of that, because we all design for our living space, which happens to be planet Earth, that therefore BIM includes everything that Pete said, all that information about the Earth that we're collecting, that natural environment or that physical environment that we have built, all that man-made stuff, that as a process it needs to embrace GIS but also that we need to concentrate on those information models. Somebody said it, those intelligent models, making the information more intelligent so that we can use it throughout the life cycle. Can I just ask you a question to the panel members? Um, so take out your crystal ball a little bit, and now, and let's say five years from now, I'm going to take this class again. What, what's going to be different about this argument? About this argument? <laughs> Do you want me to, uh, let, me, let me answer this. I see a convergence of the solution. It being vendor specific now, the company I work for, I think it's going to happen. You're going to see a convergence of these different types of tools to get to something that gives us that information modeling. Drop the acronyms, drop the T's and the G's and the J's and the B's. Information modeling. I want to, again, make more informed decisions about based on their data. So what you're going to see, by a magic ball, by the way, anything I may say, no purchasing decisions, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I, I see what we're doing. I see, di I see data sources. Yeah, we've got these, these big challenges with data sources. Well, you've got this stuff up here, this stuff in there, shape files, coverage, blah, 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 blah. I want to have a screen in front of me. I want to bring stuff to the screen, make decisions based upon that. And, that, and that's where I see it's a convergence of solutions, convergence of technologies. I see something that's going away. So, so Matt I said that we should talk about collaboration and uh, integration as well. And Pete's basically uh, taken that word out of my mouth 
that's fine. So Pete and I are agreeing that we're talking about convergence of technology, but that convergence is also going to help us with this integration of all these different sources of information, and that convergence is also going to help us with being able to collaborate. Remember that chasm of communication between design and all these other uh, different phases within the life cycle? We're all people, and as a result, we still are going to have miscommunications between each other. But that doesn't mean that the te technology aspect should have that miscommunications. So I would agree with Pete. Convergence. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's it's going to be the integrated, inform in integrated infrastructure information system. So I really appreciate the, the conversations and the, the, the passion, the actual case studies that you threw at us. Um, and I think there, there's obviously a lot of work to be done. And uh, you know, I think you know, regardless of what tools you choose, um, there are problems that you face on a day-to-day -day basis where the integration of these tools are it's going to be of the utmost importance. So hopefully you have kind of the underpinnings in place um, that, that, uh, that the tools have obviously addressed some major pain points and created some great efficiency. Um, regardless of which you choose, BIM or GIS, hopefully you'll come back to Autodesk, um, come back to this venue, and thankfully with all, all your, your questions that are out there, the frictions that are out there, um, that leaves those of us in the press um, a, lot of, a lot of fodder, a lot of ideas to kind of delve into to help you make sense, help us make sense, to help you make sense of this information. So anybody that has a case study or, or anything, I'd love to love to hear from you, love to publish your work. Thank you all for attending.